Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today in this video, we are going to show you a quick way of creating mechanical advantage without using carabiners, pulleys, right? Now, be, do keep in mind that this is gonna be rope on rope, so you're gonna have added friction in it, and yeah, some, so just keep that in mind. Now, you can accomplish this with a trucker hitch too. Um, this is more resembles something of, of a sheep shank knot. And I have used this when I've been in a pinch and I forgot all my gear, it's back at the truck and I'm like, oh no, I must underestimate the tree and there's no time to run back. So this was quick, easy to apply. So here we got a little mock situation. I'm gonna fall over this beech tree and you know, I'm getting ready to pull it over. And now I've underestimated it. I'm not as strong as I thought I was. So I need, I need to create a two to one, at least to help me pull it over. So I'm gonna start here and start creating my knot. Uh, actually, you take a bite of rope, a bite this way, and you fold it up towards the tree that you're felling. Now, this is pretty important here. You're gonna take and you're gonna create two half hitches. I always do two half hitches, top and bottom. So I do one up this way, and then the second one back up this way. So that locks the first part of this bite. And then we're gonna do the same thing down low. I'm gonna run up here. And that's one, and I'm gonna do another one right there. And that's the initial step right here. So we've got part one done. Now we come over and let's say I didn't have a block. And like I said, I was in a pinch. So I, I grabbed the rope, I walked it all around the tree and now it's around that tree. So that's your other friction point. If you have pull these blocks, you can put a block there and a block at the bottom at the first loop or the first bite down here. Um, so what you're gonna do is you take the bitter end, the tail end, and you start running this through. You can run it through this way, that way, whatever way you, uh, makes you feel more comfortable. We're gonna slip that through there. There we go. And Pull that all the way through. Now, this is where I was talking about, you're gonna get rope on rope friction. So be aware of that. And now you would come back over this way because we do have to lock it off in case, right? So, or you can use it to pre-tension the tree as well. So that's another function of it. So you would pull and you would pull until you get all the pull you wanted. And then you can, to lock it off, you go back around the tree. And then right here, what I always do is I capture both legs of rope. I capture it once, sink them in together. And the second thing to create your lock, just a couple half hitches. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Typically, I like to do three, three overhands there, and it's it's caught, it's in place. So now I'd go back, finish my back cut, and if I did need a little more pull, you wouldn't, you would not really need to do this. You can simply just grab the legs and begin to pull this way, or stand on this side and then pull this way. Uh, like I said, I've used this knot multiple times when I was in a pinch or I didn't have the, the right gear, especially when I was starting out. Um, this trick was shown to me by a couple of uh, awesome climbers and I've kept it, ran with it. It's in my bag of tricks. Appreciate, uh, appreciate them for giving me their knowledge, right? But uh, yeah, thanks for checking the video out. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know what you think. If you have tried this out before, let us know your thoughts. Uh, cool, thank you.